All right, let's go ahead and pop the trunk. So the items you'll need, need just a little, something to push the pins, to, the plastic pins to remove. Flathead screwdriver or a trim removal tool. Okay, I couldn't find my trim removal tool, but I have um, just a, a plastic spatula style and this will help us pop it out um pop off some of the the molding trim you can use that or a flathead screwdriver basically that's a little tricky there. do you see how i'm pushing this down wedge it in between there and now do you see how it just pushed that clip so we'll work this one off first and you have to pull it this way i'll show you what clips are on there so after we remove this and this panel all it does is it pushes the pin in that way so you have to pull it for or back out towards the back so we can grab this and now you can just pull this back and then there so then we have this side Here. let's go ahead and show you what this looks like so there's two push pins one right here, one right here. These go into this hole and this hole. And this clips onto this middle piece. It slides down like that. So this, to remove it, you slide up that way. I'm pushing it there just so it holds while I show you. And here's the clips. So when we put this priory tool in, what we did was we pushed that that gap and it pressed this down so it released it from this side molding right here so this was right here like that all right and what i like to do is instead of prying the other side now since now we have a grip so instead of prying this off that edge we can just pull from that side so let's go ahead and pull that and I'll show you the clips in a bit. So this side, you have this rear strut, um, the motor that lifts uh, the hatch up and down. So this goes through here. So you have to make sure you maneuver that. But let's go ahead and pull this that way and that way to release those two pins. There. And then now the pins are released. Now you have to remove this. And all of this is just like a little rubber piece. So let me show you. So this slide that way. This one right here, you can see the two pins, this pin and this pin. It goes in that hole and this hole. And then this slot right here is for this. So there's a motor that lifts up and down your, your rear hatch. Once we get this off, let's go ahead and set it aside. This panel right here has four clips. One, two, three, four and it just goes into these holes and it pops in place. Right. So go ahead and set those aside. You don't want them to scratch, so make sure you're pretty careful with them. All right, now, all right, now we need to remove the handle. And panels so this handle you can get the trim removal tool again and just see how I pushed it up it clicks and then you can slide it off so that's the handle let's remove the light right here there's two spots for a, to pry let's go ahead and turn the light off so right here there's a slot right here and there's a slot over here. So we'll go ahead and put the trim removal tool in. And you just pull straight, straight down. These are the clips, one, two clips. And then these two tabs slide under this. Go ahead and press this to unloo um, loosen the harness, the connector, I mean. go to the other side 
Okay, so now we need to remove the button, the trunk button switch. So pry it. So once you get enough of a gap, you can pull it down with your fingers. And release the connector. So there's a little tab right here. Press it, slide this out. And these are the two sides that we're holding it. One right there and one right there. So it holds it in place like that. Let's go ahead and remove this access panel over here. So I'll wedge that in place right here and then get it started and then use my fingers to pull it down. There we go. So two pins, one right here, one right here, and then these two tabs line up to that. They line up to those holes. Figure out. Okay. Now we have push pins. So one of the push pins on this car has been replaced with a different type. But you normally the factory pin should look like this. Take your um, small, it, it could be any any little thing, like a a metal um, pin or anything to push it. So what you do, you push the middle of this, like that. You press it in about, I would say, a quarter of an inch, and then use your trim removal tool and pull that out. So this is what the pin looks like. This is when you push it in. And then to set it so you can use it again, you push this back like that. And then now it's ready to go back in that hole later and press to lock it in place. Um, this is the one that we replaced before. So I'll go ahead and um, just use my trim removal tool, both sides, once you get enough lifted. Okay. Pull the middle off, and then there. So this one, we'll get it ready, so it's ready to install in a bit. Okay, before you start praying anything, this whole panel has come. All right, so to remove this pin, get a, something pointy. Um, I'm using a small Phillips screwdriver and you press the middle. Press it in like that. Now you get a trim removal tool and you pry at this to release the clip. There we go. And just be careful with these, they break often. You might want to buy spares if they're available to you. But go ahead and press it this way like that and then it's ready to reuse. Uh, do you see these little notches right here? Make sure it lines up. So then the body of it can compress into that right there. All right. We need to do that to the other side as well. So, same thing right here. This is the right side of the vehicle. Go ahead and press the middle. Do that. Pry tool. There we go. Released. Okay, so it's ready to reuse. Okay. So we have all the clips done. To remove this panel, you don't need to remove this access panel up here. So this access panel is where the reverse, um, not the reverse, but the, the license plate lights are located, two of them under this panel. We don't need to remove this, and we're gonna remove the whole panel.
trim. And right here, you'll see another spot. You don't need to remove this either. But let's go ahead and pull the whole panel off. So we have all the clips out. This is the whole access panel. So you can see five up there, six pins, plastic pins on the bottom. There's two right here, one right here, and another right here. And that's basically everything that holds this trim in place. I'll show you what it looks like under the car, or under, without the panel just in case you're wondering what it looks like or if you need to access something else. Right. So here's the, the harness. This is what it looks like without the panel trim, the body trim. So this is the, I'm trying to hold this. This is the plug for the trunk light. Over here, this is the plug for the trunk button that goes up and down. You have defrost. And then on this side, you also have another defrost connector. Right there. Okay, there. you can see most of the mechanics. This is the um, trunk actuator, the latch actuator, and the plug for it's right here. The harness for everything. These trunk light, or uh, license plate lights. Here, up here. This connector over here is for the third brake light that's on this boiler. That's pretty much everything. Oh, right here. This is the, the latch um, when you open from the outside. Or the, yeah, basically the lever that pops open in the trunk is this connector. I believe that's everything. So these are the reverse lights. Right here. It's the reverse light, and I'll show you the other side. Right here. Reverse light. There's, um, I have another video where I show you how to change the reverse lights. Bolts. But, alright. Um, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and reinstall this. So we do everything backwards. Go ahead and do this. pins Side. 
this one. All right, well, there you have it. I just pieced together everything. Hopefully you were able to see exactly what I did, but if you have any questions, go ahead and place a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer it. Thanks for watching.